Alright, so the time has finally come. After a week without a mount, my package from astroshop.eu has finally arrived. So today it's going to be an unboxing video. And while unboxing may be fun to watch, I'm going to talk a bit about the expectation while it goes on in the background. Uh, one of the main things behind my purchase is the RA uh, encoder uh, that will help uh, with the periodic error control on the mount. I'm really expecting to see guide graphs uh, at around uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 RMS error. If I can do that, I will be really happy with uh, my purchase. Right, let's just head on to the main event, see if we can get this on. The last piece is the go to Nova hand control. This is one of the better hand controls out in the market. Got a warmer built-in behind the LSD display so it doesn't freeze when you're outside so it's going to be quite nice to test this one out remotely the box itself is pretty sturdy aluminum case another thing I'm uh, very curious to test out is the internal cable management that this mount has uh, this is, will allow me to run my USB and power to the power box via the mount itself so this is the mount, it's got two adjustment to adjust the height if you have it between 0 and 30 degrees or 25 to 60 degrees. Now I'm living in 59 degrees latitude so I of course gonna have it to the 25 and 60 setting. Power on off, DC 12 volt on the front be the eyepolar scope. Here we go. This is also where I'm gonna put the counterweight shaft. I'm not gonna use the eyepolar scope here from the balcony since I can't see north. I only have a view for from southeast to about west from my balcony here in Oslo. So yeah it looks pretty nice. Well done machinery, gonna be excited to test the encoders, try some unguided subs. One of the main things of buying the Ioptron is of course it's got an extra payload uh, compared to the old AVX that I got. And it's of course gonna be easier to set up as well. There was also a nice piece of paper showing the periodic curve error measured by the encoders for this mount. Here's the CWO290 Mini. It's going to be awesome to test out. We got a CWO off axis guider. Alright, the off axis guiding and the camera is a whole different <laughs> topic, I guess. It made me struggle a lot in the past few days. But I was opening up the last packages, that's the counterweight that fits on the CEM shaft, it's the azimuth knob. Uh, one of the things I noticed is that uh, the azimuth adjustment bolt, you can place it in four different directions. Uh, that's really helpful, helpful for me, uh, since I am kind of stuck to placing the tripod in the corner uh, making it a lot easier for me to adjust the tripod legs uh, so that's a nice feature I didn't know about Finally, on the balcony, this is where I'm going to do my astrophotography stuff.
after getting the tripod up and ready on the balcony, uh, connecting the mount to it, uh, I tried to fit my uh, telescope. Of course it had a different uh, dovetail, so I had to change that one out. Uh, after that I tried slewing the telescope, and as you can see while I mount this, uh, it's pretty close to the rail work uh, around it. Uh, that also showed when I was trying to slew the telescope, so uh, it actually almost collided with the railing around the balcony. So I'm going to look into how to extend the tripod legs a bit more. Uh, in the meanwhile, I have ordered the uh, iOptron Mini Pier for the CM40, so that will be able to lift my uh, mount about 50 centimeters higher. I hope I will be able to show some more videos of this mount in work at a later stage. So yeah, this is the later stage. I've been uh, trying to get everything to work for the last past two days. Uh, I know this handling seems rough, but I assure you that I'm pretty cautious while doing it. <laughs> but it's a real struggle to get the telescope up on the mount uh, sometimes, especially with this big one. nerve-wracking to put up the mount but looks like we got it this time as well and yeah it's even the right way so that's pretty nice I'm gonna hold it up while I adjust the clutches and then I'm gonna put the counterweights on afterwards Okay. I'm gonna see if I can get the autofocus to work properly to show the cable management system. So I got the cables going through the hole here in the mount, then it goes in there, up here and out on the dot tail plate. And you can see the power and the USB 3 to the power box advance is hanging right there on the side. So that's how I connect my cables. Now everything else is hooked up to the telescope. So there you got it. That's the mount on the balcony. I have to say I really love the colors, the black and red together. Yeah, it feels really nice. So I know this mount is going to perform a lot better than the old uh, AVX mount. So it's going to be excited to show you some videos when I get everything up and ready. I want to thank you for watching. If you have any comments or tips, leave them in the comment section below. As always, keep looking up and enjoy the night sky. This is Portlight Astro.